my name is uh, James P. White from 95.7 Cruise FM, The Locker Room, and welcome to the Jedi Jimmy Podcast. This is episode 14, part 2. So in the first part, I'm calling the, these two podcasts basically Star Wars for Beginners. I heard that Pam Kirby, our evening person on 95.7 Cruise FM, has known nothing about Star Wars, not seen any of them. So the previous episode was how to watch all the Star Wars projects. This one here is going to be the whole Skywalker saga in 10 minutes. So I'm going to be doing a rundown of all nine movies in 10 minutes. I'm going to do my best. There's a lot of stuff to go through. So here we go. I'm going to get this get this going and here we go 10 minutes from now so first Star Wars episode 1 which is the Phantom Menace we're introduced to the Jedi which uh, we first see Obi-Wan Kenobi and his master Qui-Gon Jinn they have actually been sent by the Galactic Republic to deal with a dispute on the planet of Naboo Uh, the Trade Federation believe that they have the right to uh, blockade the planet of Naboo and then they so then they invade the planet the Queen Amidala she and some of her people were able to escape with the help of the two Jedi they first before they make it to the uh, the capital planet of Coruscant they meet a young man on Tatooine his name is Anakin Skywalker they find out that he's very force sensitive like the Jedi so he can actually control and feel the force. So with his help, they're able to gain the money that they need to buy the parts that they need to get to Coruscant to fix their ship. And with their help, with his help, he was actually uh, participating in a pod race. So Qui-Gon was able to actually have him freed as being a slave to go with them to Coruscant because Qui-Gon wanted to teach him to be a Jedi because of how Force-sensitive he was. The Jedi refused to teach Anakin, but he still stayed with Qui-Gon. The Queen, when she was on Coruscant, the... uh, the Senate actually did not agree to help her free the planet. So she went back to save Naboo with the help of the Jedi and these other creatures on Naboo. They were able to defeat the invading trade federation and escape the planet and all was done. And then Qui-Gon Jinn was, was killed and the Jedi Council ended up giving Obi-Wan Kenobi permission to teach uh, Anakin to be a Jedi. Now, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, is actually 10 years later. By this point, Padme Amidala, she is no longer the Queen of Naboo, but she was a senator on Coruscant, the capital planet. And the, the members of the Trade Federation and some bounty hunters were actually trying to kill her. So... Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin, who is now a teenager, uh, is now um, hired to protect her. But there's also some kind of conspiracy going on on the planet where there, there's this conspiracy against the Jedi and including the Jedi to create a clone army to fight the Separatists, which is the Trade Federation and other planets that are trying to separate the Galactic Senate and dissolved that. So when everything's done, Anakin goes on his own separate way with Pat, uh, with uh, Padme uh, to uh, first they start on Naboo and then he has dreams about his mother dying on Tatooine. They go to uh, protect or check her out. She ends up getting killed by the Sand People. Anakin kills all the Sand People and then And during this time frame, Padme and Anakin are starting to fall for each other. But he's a senator, or she's a senator. He's a a Jedi. That's not allowed. Now, also, now 
Anakin, uh, no, Obi-Wan was actually sent to figure out where this conspiracy is for the, both the Clone Army and the Trade Federation. And the Clone Army was somehow hired by the uh, by a Jedi 10 years before this. So when you break it all down, the Trade Federation had a huge planet on a uh, huge army on Geonosis. Now on Camino, where the clone army is, the Republic brings in Chancellor Palpatine, who is now uh, the Supreme Chancellor. And so he takes over and brings the clone army in to stop the separate separatists. So on Geonosis is the start of the Clone Wars. Anakin and um, Obi-Wan end up fighting Count Dooku, who is, was a Jedi that has turned to Sith. Anakin lost his hand in the, in the fight, and Master Yoda comes to save the day. Now, the end of the episode is basically the whole start of the Clone Wars. Now, the next episode, which is episode three, is Revenge of the Sith. At the beginning of it, like, it, again, Clone Wars have been going on for quite some time. Anakin is now a Jedi Knight, and they, they are trying to save the galaxy uh, from, this, from the Separatists. So it starts out in one of the first 20 minutes of the show. Anakin actually ends up ki uh, killing Count Dooku. And Anakin, Anakin also, during this time frame, became friends with the Chancellor, so the head of the Senate. But during this episode, uh, during this episode, we find out that he's actually the Sith Lord, the bad guys against the Jedi, who they've been trying to track down. And with some trickery, he actually ends up tricking Anakin into becoming his apprentice because... Anakin and uh, Padme get married. Uh, she's with child. He has dreams that she's going to die like his mother did. And he does everything he can to try to save Padme. And he basically joins the dark side. Him, with the, hand, uh, with the clone army's help, enact Order 66, which is assassinate all the Jedi. They destroy the Jedi Temple. The only Jedi that are left alive that people know about is actually uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and, um, and Yoda. So Yoda ends up fighting against the Emperor and he loses. So he actually exiles himself to the planet of Dagobah. And Obi-Wan actually defeats Darth Vader, so Anakin... But Anakin survives. And Obi-Wan is actually uh, exiled to the planet of Tatooine. We're actually, um, as, we, as I said earlier, Padme was actually pregnant. And so his two, they had twins. One was actually sent to the planet of Alderaan. That's Leia. And the other one was actually sent to Tatooine with Anakin's uh, stepbrother, and Obi-Wan was exiled there as well to protect Luke. Now, the next episode of Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. It's actually 19 years after the, uh, the fall of the Jedi. Now, there is a rebellion against the Empire. The Emperor has actually taken over, which is basically a dictatorship. And so there is a rebellion trying to fight against the oppression. So... Uh, Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader actually are trying to ca capture the secret plans to destroy the Empire's secret weapon, which is called the Death Star. It's a planet killer. It could destroy entire planets with these. So the plans end up going with uh, two droids, R2-D2 and C-3PO, to the uh, planet of Tatooine, where they find in the hands of Luke... And then he ends up taking them to a person that he knew as Old Ben, which was a hermit that lived in the Dune Sea, 
which was Obi-Wan Kenobi. And they were asked, actually tasked to go take the plans to the princess or to Leia, who was supposed to be on Alderaan. But they ended up finding her on the Death Star with the help of a smuggler that they hired, uh, Han Solo. They actually uh, helped her escape from the planet or from the Death Star to to the uh, to help destroy it. So with Luke's help, they actually destroy the Death Star at the end of Episode Four. Now Episode Five, Empire Strikes Back. The Empire is still strong, even though that they don't no longer have the Death Star. They first destroy. Uh, the rebels base on the planet of Hoth. Uh, Lo- Luke actually leaves fr- uh, from Dagobah or from Hoth to rejoin with someone that Obi Wan told him to meet up with, uh, Master Yoda, on the planet of Dagobah, where he went there to be taught how to be a Jedi from Master Yoda. Now. Also during this this time frame, uh, Leia and Han, Chewie, and the droids actually escape the planet of Hoth uh, and end up on the planet of Bespin, Cloud City, where they meet with uh, Lando Calrissian, who was a friend of Han Solo, but he uh, ended up betraying them. Uh, Darth Vader uh, captures Han Solo encases him in carbonite to be sent to Jabba the Hutt who actually had a uh, he was wanted by Jabba the Hutt because he owed him money and then it was a trap to bring Luke to help try to save them because Darth Vader wanted to capture Luke because he knew that one he was his son and two that he was training to be a Jedi and they wanted him to become Sith Partway through Luke's training with Yoda, he ends up having to go to try to save them. Uh, He loses his first battle against Darth Vader, but also finds out that Darth Vader is his father. And then the episode's over because he got to prepare for the next episode, which is Return of the Jedi, episode six, where uh, first the group have to save Han Solo from uh, Jabba the Hutt. They do that. The Rebels now have uh, a plan to destroy the second Death Star, uh, Death Star 2, but this time the Emperor is actually on the Death Star. So there's a couple of things that they had to do. There was a ground attack in which was led by Han and Leia. Luke joined them. But Luke was actually tasked by... Uh, Yoda before he died that he needed in order to become a Jedi he needed to fight Darth Vader who he now knows is his father and he now knows is his father so then he ends up going meeting up with him trying to convert him to the the light side and fails or actually he, he thought he failed but then he ended up defeating uh, Darth Vader but Darth Vader saved him from the Emperor which helped him come to the dark uh, to the light side now that is the first six movies and I'm already 12 minutes in I'm gonna keep going though Uh, so now the next one is actually Force Awakens at this point here is 30 years after Return of the Jedi. Luke's uh, Jedi Academy actually was destroyed by one of his students, uh, Ben Solo, the son of Han and Leia. And so he ended up being destroying the temple. So Luke actually disappeared. No one knew where he was. And that's kind of where this starts because he ends up having to The whole purpose of this episode was Princess Leia was actually trying to find her brother to help bring down the First Order, which is uh, basically the equivalent of the Empire. They took over the void that was left there. 
led by uh, Leader, uh, Leader Smo uh, Snoke. So at this point, we meet a scavenger. Her, her name is Ray, and she was force sensitive. She tries to f uh, fight Kylo Ren to try to uh, basically uh, get that map, but actually Kylo ends up killing his father Han Solo, and then that was the end of that. The uh, rebellion actually ended up destroying their Star Killer base, which was about ten times the size of the Death Star. Now that led to the Last Jedi in which Rey actually goes to try to learn how to become a Jedi from Luke. Luke um, has separated himself from the Force because of what happened to, the, uh, to his uh, temple and to all his students. They were killed by Kylo. So she starts learning the Force and then she ends up uh, leaving to go try to save Ben and ends up fighting with him and and uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. Ben turns on Supreme Leader Snoke, so he's basically the head of the Sith at that point. And he wants, and Ben now wants Rey to help take over the galaxy. She has decided to follow the way of the Jedi. And... So that's kind of the end of that one. Rise of Skywalker. Quick, I'll nail it down as quickly as I can. One, uh, Ray is, is trained by Leia, and there's a number. There's a number of things because they find out at this point that Emperor Palpatine did not die on the uh, the Death Star two. He actually was resurrected or still alive, and both uh, Kylo Ren wanted to stop him destroy him because he wanted to be the leader and and then also Rey was sent to try to find him as well to defeat the Emperor to save the galaxy because they were uh, creating what they called the the final they had a final solution they were going to basically destroy anyone who fought against the Sith with the help of Kylo at the end also known as Ben Solo, Rey was able to defeat the Emperor, who she found out was her grandfather, and and then Ben Ben died, saving uh, Rey's life. Also, Princess Leia also passed away, and so it ends with, as they as they said, the the rise of Skywalker, because she goes back to. The very beginning on Tatooine, and she claims the name of Skywalker. Hopefully, that was able to describe it good enough for you. I tried to do it in under 10 minutes. I don't think I did it, but I tried. The next episode will actually be where I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to be doing. It'll be form five of the uh, lightsaber combat. I look forward to seeing you then. First, I, I need to thank my sponsors. So, of course, the Dean Blundell Network on DeanBlundell.com and also my good buddy, Army Chris, who taught me how to do this uh, podcasting thing. I look forward to seeing you next time and let's go from there.